Hey guys, welcome back to Forgotten Ways Homestead. Today I'm in the kitchen and it is getting close to deer season. Um, so I need to make room for Shug's deer. And I'm also running low on my corn cob jelly. So I figured what a better time to show y'all how to make corn cob jelly than now. Uh, so the recipe you use 12, excuse me, 12 corn cobs that have had the corn removed. I've probably got 14, um, but that's okay. It's just extra flavor. So uh, let me see. It calls for 12 corn cobs and two quarts of water. You're gonna boil it for 30 minutes or so. Um, you'll turn it You'll get it to boil, then you'll turn it down to where it's a slow boil. And we're going to get that started, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, guys. So, I have two, four, six, eight, nine. So, I have 15 corn cobs. That's fine. That's just extra flavor. Um, I wouldn't do any less than 12, but yeah. A little extra never hurt. So I'm fixing to get those on and um, I'll bring you back. Okay guys. So can you see it? It is fixing to boil. So we're going to cook it for about 30 minutes on a low boil and then we'll come back. Okay guys. So it's been about 40 minutes um, since they were frozen. I went ahead and just let them go a little bit longer. So we're going to turn it off. Remove the lid. And remove all the corn cobs. because they have done their job. All right, so now we have three cups of the juice. Now the recipe calls for three cups of the juice, four cups of sugar, and one box of the sure gel. Now they also have the, for less, for use in less or no sugar needed recipes. So if sugar's an issue, you can get the lower sugar uh, pectin, and that way you don't have to add as much sugar. Okay guys, so I've already put the pectin in, brought it up to a boil, added the sugar, and now we're bringing it back up to a boil, and we're gonna let it boil for one minute. Real hard boil. One that you cannot stir down and then we'll move on to processing. So I'll bring y'all guys back when we're fixing the process. Okay guys, so I got the jelly. It boiled real hard for one minute after everything was in it. Um, now we're going to get our jars. Let's get four out for right now. All right, guys. Say paper towel. Okay. All right. So we're just going to, I think, like a half an inch headspace. I think that's what we're going to do.
Okay, guys. So, my SD card decided it was empty, or it was full. So, sorry about that. So, I'm just still filling up the, the jars. I'm doing about half-inch headspace. Others. Okay. All right. So I only did six. I think that's pretty much what we need so yeah guys this um recipe is just about like any other jelly recipe the only thing different is um at first it takes six corn cob or i'm sorry 12 corn cobs and you boil them in four quarts of water for about 30 minutes and then you'll strain it in a double cheesecloth and use three cups of the liquid if you have to add a little water to make three cups go right ahead um, it also says in there that you can use uh, uh, yellow food dye, but I don't, so I just like it all natural. The color that it is is the color that it is. That does not change the flavor at all, and so, yeah, there's nothing artificial in my corn cob jelly. So we're just cleaning the rims. Making sure everything's off of it. And I'll post the um, the recipe in the description below. And for me, I am just a little bit over a thousand feet elevation. So my process time will be 10 minutes. Uh, if you're below a thousand, it's gonna be five minutes. And what I like to do is after the 10 minutes, I take the lid off, turn the, uh, turn the fire off, and uh, just let it sit for about five minutes and let it kind of come down in temperature so it's not that big of a shock coming out of that water. So yeah, all right, that looks good. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna get these in the ooh, canner. Let me see. I don't know if you can see how beautiful it is. Look at that beautiful color. It's like sunshine. And that is without any food color. So, I don't think it needs food color. All right, so let me put these in there. And you'll put about two inch headspace over the jars of the water. Make sure the water comes up about two inches over the jars. And like I said, I do 10 minutes because mine is just a little bit over a thousand feet. So if it's under, if you're under a thousand, then you'll do it for five minutes. Alright 
guys. That one doesn't want to. And then when it comes to a rolling boil, then I will put the timer on for 10 minutes and then turn the turn it off, take the lid off, and let it sit for five minutes before I remove them onto the towel. All right, guys, I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, they're done. They've sat there for five minutes. There's one ping. <gasps> There's another one and another one. They are pinging. Oh, I just heard another one. They're popping everywhere. Look how beautiful those are, guys. And try not to tilt them. If you need to, just take a, a rag and just do that to absorb the water if it bothers you. Alright guys, looky there. I do say that is a success. Just absorb that water. But try not to tilt them over because it could ruin the seal. So try to keep them straight up. Alright guys, that does it for this video. I appreciate you watching and if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe because I've got a lot more videos coming out and I hope to see you on the next one.